I would scream. He screamed. Did you see that hand? When they came back, all the glasses in the room were smashed. Today, we're going to uh, St. Nicholas's Church in Worcester. It's supposedly, supposedly haunted. Supposedly. Supposedly. I mean, you know what the internet's like. What's it like? Yeah. <laughs> this is Amy behind the camera. Hello. She is our new camera woman. Hello. Um, so yeah, this is going to hopefully be the start of a new series where we go, we visit haunted places, we touch upon haunted things. You know, real scary stories, things about killers and things like that. Cause it's always been something that I've been like, mad interested in. Yeah. And so I want to do something for it because there's not a lot of, you know, you have these people that sit down and tell the crime stories, but I want to live the crime story. I want to be a victim. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a victim. A victim. You get what I mean? I want to be in their shoes. I want to be in their shoes. Wait, what? In the victim's shoes? Yeah, I want to feel what they, you know, I want to be there. I want to experience it. But what if you were like possessed by a ghost? What would you do? Then it'll be a ghost in a bad bitch's body. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to go to a church. Okay. okay. It's going to be like a haunted thing. Okay. okay. You're going to make a whole series out of it. Okay. And I'll tell you all the stories and stuff about the church whilst we're going in there. Okay. Okay. It's just going to be like a no. rundown of St. Nicholas's Church. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. So, St. Nicholas's Church, housed in Worcester in the UK, is an ex-crypt converted into a church. Built between 1730 and 1735, the church is currently used as a community centre of sorts. It's fairly popular within the community and the Reverend Diane tends to events and other things that they have on at the church. I've always been like really interested in creating short documentaries on creepy and paranormal areas and so we decided to start with something close to home. So, one of the stories so, yeah, at this on. place was... Apparently there was these two lads and they were meant to be weed like back in like the Left 1900s here, yeah. or something. And they were meant to be weeding the uh, gravestones. Okay. And they got hungry and exhausted, so they went inside of the church. And they were met with like a headless guy that was just like walking towards them. But he was gone in like a flash. Continuing on from here, the two boys would work at the church and help contribute to keeping the church clean and presentable. They found themselves, and I quote, hungry and exhausted and so they decided to go into the church to sit and eat. Upon entering the church, the two boys noticed a tall man walking towards them. Trying to understand the situation, they looked up, only to notice he was strolling down the church aisle without his head attached. As unbelievable as that may sound, that wasn't the only sighting of the mysterious figure. Right, so apparently, so yeah. apparently the church was built for, it was made in 1730, to set either 1730 or 1735. I was, oh. Oh, caught. You're fucking killed by a car. <laughs> Be another ghost here. <laughs> we'll be dying. Yeah, at the church. Yeah. <laughs> and it was made for someone either called Thomas White or Humphrey Hollins. So, so it was, it was gonna, made for two people. Yeah, suppose either one. And it was originally a crypt. So right. it wasn't made into a church. The church came afterwards. It was originally a crypt. The only crypt I know is the Bushwhackers crypt. Have you been to that one? No, what's that? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. What's that? We'll, we'll what have is to say, get that. Is Bushwhackers, it's just a local club. Have you ever done a Ouija board? No. See, I did it. Do you want to know what happened? Go on. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I did it on my own. I did it with friends. And nothing happened. And I was just like, paid 11 quid for nothing. You know what's a good thing about having me around? What? It's normally when they see a brown person, they don't say anything. I'm not even joking at all. <laughs> I'm not even, it's a benefit, honestly. That's just like basic racism. No, honestly. Like, racial profile. Yeah, then. but but when they see when they see me, I don't know if they feel intimidated or what, but really? Yeah. People don't say Does that anything. Offend you? Not really. It benefits us, doesn't it? it? Benefits <laughs> us. I'm not sure we're supposed to, are we allowed to walk around in the cemetery? No, I don't or think do we people, are. We aren't always. There's no walking places, should we no. just come off it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's I call that area over there? Is that like is that part of it? Unfortunately, there wasn't much history on the barn section of the church and we're kind of sure it's probably been converted into somebody's house now. Although, I will say right now, there is absolutely no chance of me living near that. Although the history that we did find reflects on the crypt story that we researched. Supposedly, there was a part of the church that was used for like, a temporary accommodation for the dead. Perhaps it was, perhaps not. <laughs> so like, look, if you look, there's like really, really old ones. Like extremely old ones that are like kept. Which is not really weird. How old is this church? Apparently it was made in 1730, but obviously you've got like the newer gravestones. If you come round, see like the newer gravestones there, and then you've got like the 
mad old ones like under the tree. Ooh. But there's like no in between. Like, did nobody die before? Like, in between. <laughs> nobody in died. 30 or 2020, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> there's nothing about the church. Oh, so though. the church is open then. It can't yeah, be haunted. Reverend Diane. Because if it was a haunted place, I'll tell you what, I think you don't want to be going here. Well, I think people would. It's like a tourist attraction. I wonder if they ever attract tourists. Yeah, I mean, she did. Sundays and Wednesdays. Yeah. That's so quite a reflective time. Oh, I can do that in my bedroom. I have to come to a church for like or something. A church has a Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's Check them out on Facebook. You can't complain. Can Give you? them a like. Oh wow! I was expecting like a really old stone. Uh, Whitley. Whitley, yeah. Oh god, it's like a massive castle type of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Oh whoa. Yeah, that's that's what you want to do. So, me and a few lads actually did that. We were trespassing because it's outside the hours of where oh, you are were, it doing the general it? public yeah, can go. Yeah. Um, we did get chased by the security and dogs, so we had to, to leg it. <laughs> yeah. We had to leg it, but it was going back a few years, but it's was known it? for people to go in and just at do night the finger. and just try and see what they can hear, what they can see and stuff. I want to go look in their windows, but I'm scared because it's locked someone's house now. What if it's one because he's peeking well, through the window? Like a peeping <laughs> time. So, the one time I was having a shower, right, with my partner, we were both in the shower, we were both showering. And the, I used to turn the light off. So I used to like, I used to enjoy like the, like the darkness, the window open, that type of thing. Yeah. And the wind kept blowing the shower curtain to my leg, and it kept like blowing on my leg and stuff. And I kept having to like push it down towards the bottom of the back, like the kind of side and stuff from doing it. And the one time I did it, I turned around, I, I went like that, and I swear to God, there was a little man who was about this big, right? He had a little flat cap on. He had like a, a, a goatee, and he had like almost like pointy ears, and he was really small, and he pulled, he was like out with a shower curtain going, <laughs> staring at me. And I always screamed, he screamed, we all fucking screamed. <laughs> well, the ghost. The little screamed. man screamed as well. <laughs> 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 but, but it actually like, is that the chirp? Why is that beat? Did you see that hand? Right. Oh my right. god, there's a fucking hand! <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a ghost? Here we go, we've got a ghost. I thought you were joking me, you said a hand. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> there's our ghost. There's our ghost. Aerobics. <laughs> the ghosts have just hit the eighties. Height, sorry, can I just point out that it was so much more weird in real life? Whoever was in there was doing like some mad acrobatics. I have absolutely no idea why they would be doing acrobatics in a church. I mean, it fully reminds me of that scene from Hereditary with all those old women and men praying to that devil guy. Yeah, fuck that, no chance. Not a chance. What, is it like a castle or a church or something? No, it's, um, it's a hotel. They use it as a hotel now. It's like one of the oldest pubs. It's even got like the words like ye old pub and stuff <gasps> like that, honey. I know and, you like, stayed there. Really? Yeah, they had a horrible story about um. They went, they left the room, and when they came back, all the glasses in the room were smashed. Uh, sounds like a place for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so click talking about ghost, ghost stories and stuff, so I've been told if you have a, like any form of fire yeah. on you at all times, no ghost can get it. Really? Really? So I've been told. You okay, whether that's true or not, yeah. So if like, yeah. fuck off, ghost. Yeah. So if you're smoking, so when we went to Whitney Court, I made sure I made sure I was chain smoking because <laughs> right? there was a flame at all times. Like, <laughs> used it as like a, a form of protection. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I suppose that brings us to the end of this story of Saint Nicholas's Church. We are extremely excited to visit more locations that are supposedly haunted and potentially have an actual experience. My name is Tezza, and I bid you. Farewell.